Well, this workshop is about cardiac um, plasticity and regeneration. So the interesting thing about the topic is that it's, it's a relatively new idea in the field of cardiovascular biology, that the cardiomyocyte uh, can actually change phenotypes. It has a certain amount of plasticity. We saw this as an opportunity to bring together scientists from different disciplines who are basically using different approaches to try to understand how to regenerate the heart or repair hearts after a heart attack. Uh, and broadly speaking, uh, we try to bring in developmental biologists who understand how the heart is built from scratch during embryogenesis. Uh, scientists who are specifically working on regeneration and strategies to either reprogram non-myocytes into myocytes or to get myocytes to divide. And scientists with engineering background, bioengineers or tissue engineers, uh, who are trying to bring material science to this problem and how materials can help promote uh, these processes or ameliorate or reduce scarring. And the idea was these are three groups of people who aren't often together. And so by sharing our strategies and insights, we thought that we might be able to get synergies that we don't normally see at cardiac development meetings or cardiac regeneration meetings, for example. But one of, the, one of our goals was to bring new investigators into, uh, into this area um, to try to have them interact with the more established people in the field. In line with that, one of our major goals was to create a really interactive session. So everyone gave talks, but we left uh, nearly as much time for open discussion as we did for the presentations themselves so that, I mean, really in Jim's words, we could get to the heart of some of these problems and think about mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. we might solve them. It's been a fabulous workshop. You know, it's a fantastic environment here in Western House, a beautiful old uh, stately manor house in Sussex, and uh, beautiful boutique meeting, very high level uh, engagement with uh, very high level scientists. I enjoyed the, the workshop a lot because I mean there are so many um, uh, experts in heart development, uh, heart disease and also in um, uh, cardiac regeneration so for me it's a un unique opportunity to meet all these people and to, to, to talk with them uh, closely because I mean there are few people so that makes you um, able to, to really interact with them easily. I've enjoyed the workshop very much. It's been very inspiring also to meet all these people that I only know from papers mostly. And now I had an opportunity to meet them in person, I had some wonderful discussions. And yeah, this venue really, it really brings out some good science, I believe. The distinguishing feature of the talks uh, has been the extent to which people have really tried to include as much unpublished data as possible and also uh, to cover as many different aspects of the regenerative response as possible. The choice of, of uh, venue is just wonderful. Um, we've all enjoyed the intimate surroundings and the chance to interact with each other. Um, I was also very impressed with the inclusion of younger people in the main program, giving them exactly the same amount of time to speak as some of us more established investigators. I thought that was a really uh, very um, unusual and um, and, and promising touch and I'd say that the quality of those young people's lectures was every bit as good and exciting as the more established investigators. So bravo to the organizers. I guess what I'll take away from the meeting is the way in which understanding developmental mechanisms can inform new therapeutic strategies. The other thing I've taken away from this meeting is the way in which new technologies are driving this field forward, whether it's whole genome, uh, studies, whether it's transcriptomics or whether it's genome editing by CRISPR-Cas, you can see how these new technologies are really changing and advancing this field. So I think one thing is, um, I think now the, the, the collaboration, the co making a collaborative team using a multidisciplinary approach to address questions are really important. I think that's the future as well. Um, and uh, the second thing I think, yeah, scientific-wise, I think the basic science is still most important. Only if you understand what's really going on about the mechanism, probably you can leverage your knowledge to design novel strategies for cardiac regeneration or disease therapy. I have a notebook full of notes and ideas that I will share with my, my group, and I also were able to establish collaborations. I think the one thing I'll take back with me is that uh, the sense that our field has matured to a level where we can really ask the uh, critical questions at a very mechanistic level 
in a way that we've really never been able to do in the past and uh, that we, I think we're finally going to make the breakthroughs that we need for our field. I, I think the meeting was a, a tremendous success and we'd just really like to thank the company of biologists for helping us put it together, for empowering us to do it, to, to bring together this great group. Really appreciative of it. Thank you. Agree. Thank you very much.